The beloved Jackie Chan is a Hong Kong, Chinese and American actor, stuntman and martial artist, as well as a singer and philanthropist. Today we will tell a brief history of his life, interesting facts some of which you did not know exactly and what he is doing now. Jackie Chan was born in Hong Kong on April 7, 1954. According to Jackie's stories, when her mother was pregnant with him, she carried the future actor in the womb for almost 12 months until doctors performed a cesarean section on her. At birth, he weighed about 5.5 kilograms. His parents Charles Chan and Lily Chan fled to Hong Kong from China to escape political persecution. His father was a secret agent during the Civil War, and after the victory of the Communists, he was discovered and recognized as an enemy of the people. His mother was a major drug dealer, a gambler, and an influential figure in the Hong Kong Mafia. After moving, they lived below the poverty line. His father began to introduce Chen to Kung Fu from an early age. At the age of five, Chan started going to elementary school, but after the first grade he was expelled for poor performance. A year later, they again faced persecution from the Chinese side and were forced to move again, this time to Australia. At the age of six, the boy was sent to study at the Beijing Opera, where the students not only studied, but also lived. They were taught acting, martial arts and performing tricks, but little time was given to general education subjects. Therefore, Jackie Chan is still poorly able to read and write in her native Chinese. At the age of 17, the young man successfully graduated from theater school, but by that time traditional Chinese opera had lost its former popularity, and graduates were left alone with uncertainty. In the same year, he was invited to work as a stuntman in films with Bruce Lee. One day Bruce hit Chan too hard on the head. Jackie likes to remember this episode, as Bruce was very remorseful for what he had done and worried about Jackie. Jackie eagerly gained experience from the master. There was also a lull in the work of the stuntman, and the young man was forced to agree to shoot in the lead role in the adult comedy film Everything in the Family. In this picture, he starred naked for the first time in an erotic scene, in addition, this is the only film with Jackie Chan that does not contain a single episode with martial arts or tricks. Jackie moved to his parents in Australia. Went to college and worked in construction along the way. The circumstances were not pleasing, the work on the construction site was hard and did not give moral satisfaction. Among friends and acquaintances, Jackie is famous for her workaholism. Chuck Norris once said about him, if there were 48 hours in a day instead of 24, he would still not have enough of them. The actor sleeps only 4 to 5 hours a day. Salvation came in the form of a telegram from Hong Kong producer and director Lo Wei. They saw Jackie's stunt stunts in one of the films and wanted to invite him to the main role in the film, The New Fist of Rage, Chan was happy to return to Hong Kong. Lo Wei strongly encouraged and emphasized the similarity of Jackie Chan with the famous Bruce Lee. The film was not a great success, however, Lo Wei shot several more similar pictures with Chan in the title role, and Jackie came up with some tricks for these films himself. Gradually, the young actor began to create a new genre, comedy with a demonstration of martial arts or street fights and an abundance of complex, sometimes even dangerous tricks. In Jackie Chan's films, it is impossible to see scenes of bloody violence, eroticism, there is almost never swearing in the cinema. Swearing is allowed only when it causes laughter. The actor is proud of this interesting fact, because even children can watch films with his participation. The first success came to Jackie Chan after the release of the films Snake in the Shadow of the Eagle and Drunk Master. In the early 1980s, Jackie Chan was already a successful actor with his own unique style and role, but his success was still limited to the Asian region. And Jackie dreamed of conquering the whole world and, in particular, the USA. Several films were released, but the collections in America were small. Jackie Chan is the owner of several records recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. The achievement listed in the Guinness Book of Records is the largest number of tricks performed by one actor. No one counted how many tricks he performed, 
but based on more than 100 released films where he performed more than 10 tricks per film, this is more than 1,000 times the next record is the largest number of positions held in one film. In the film, Chinese Zodiac, he was mentioned in the credits 15 times. Chan also makes a lot of takes in order to achieve a good trick. So to shoot a badminton trick in the movie, Lord of the Dragon, the actor made 2,900 takes. While performing one of the stunts for the movie, Armor of God, Jackie Chan fell from a tree and suffered a serious head injury with a fractured skull bone. This caused serious fears for his life, but the actor recovered quite quickly. It was his most severe injury and he still has a hole in his skull filled with plastic. Chan officially created the Jackie Chan stunt group, with which he worked in later years. In matters related to his personal life, the famous actor is quite secretive. He is a Buddhist by religion. On December 1, 1982, he registered his marriage with Taiwanese actress Joan Lin and two days later, on December 3, their son Chang Zuming was born, who later became known as J.C. Chan as a singer and actor. Despite a long and strong marriage, Jackie Chan also has an illegitimate daughter, Eta Wu Zolin, whom he helps financially, but does not recognize. In the period from 1983 to 2007, Chan was almost annually nominated at the Hong Kong Film Festival as the Best Actor or Best Stunt Director, and he received this prize five times. The real success in the USA came to Chan only in the mid-1990s, after the painting, Disassembly in the Bronx. American critics admired his talent. The advertisement for this film emphasized that Chan performs all the tricks on his own, and one of the posters listed the injuries sustained by the actor during filming. Jackie did not feel sorry for himself at all and was even ready to risk his life for the sake of a spectacular shot. In the same year, the actor received the MTV Movie Awards for achievements in cinematography. Finally, in 1998, Jackie Chan took the plunge and made his first all-American film, Rush Hour The film gained great popularity and became one of the highest, grossing films of the year. Subsequent parts were also in demand. The comedy western, Shanghai Noon, in 2000 also became a success. Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson look great together. The shooting is great, and Jackie Chan is hilarious from the heart. A wonderful film in the spirit of the good old cinema, critics said of the picture. Throughout his acting career, Jackie Chan has always performed all the tricks on his own, without using the services of understudies and stuntmen. As a result, he received more than 300 fractures and injuries. In order to develop his body in the morning, he has to perform special gymnastics for three hours, including strength exercises, jogging and martial arts training. Once during a talk show, Chan broke 12 concrete blocks with his bare hands. They were divided into three groups of four PCS. In each, and the actor was able to break all the blocks with one hand, as if it were made of steel. Jackie Chan is an opponent of diets and eats everything. A daily three-hour workout allows him not to gain excess weight and always stay in shape. He does not smoke, does not drink alcohol and does not drink coffee. During his career, the actor starred in 114 films, and only in six of them he played negative characters. He was offered the roles of movie villains in films that later became popular, but he always refused so as not to spoil the image. Jackie is seriously passionate about motorsport. Together with racer David Chen, he is a co-owner of the Chinese Jackie Chan DC racing team. In addition, he is an active football fan, he supports the Hong Kong national team, the England national team and Manchester City. The actor loves gambling, mahjong, billiards, bowling, cards and dominoes. At the beginning of his career, he put 120,000 Hong Kong dollars on the line. At that time, he could live on this amount for three months. The actor has a reputation as a caring person and conducts active charity work. The actor spends a lot on charity. At first, he simply transferred money to foundations and shelters, but later began to provide targeted assistance. Thanks to the Jackie Chan Foundation he created, and the Dragon Heart Foundation. 
He announced that he admired the grandiose charitable donations of Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and himself intended to bequeath half of his fortune to charity. Jackie Chan has published two books about his life and work. The first one was released in 1998 and was called, Jackie Chan, My Life in Action. The second one was already in 2015, he titled it, Never Grow Up. Jackie Chan's fortune is estimated at $400 million half of which he intends to give to charity. Jackie is not only a highly paid actor, but also an active investor. He actively invests in shooting various films, which brings him considerable income. In Beijing, Chan has his own cinema with 17 halls, which is one of the largest in the country, and sells up to 50,000 tickets only on weekends. After such success, Jackie Chan opened 37 more outlets throughout China. He has many homes all over the world. Now Jackie lives in Beverly Hills, in a house for $12 million. Jackie owns four cars, Bugatti Veyron, Lamborghini Aventador, Bentley Molson and Subaru Impreza. The most expensive of them is the Bugatti Veyron. He also has a personal 13-seat jet for $20 million. And for his new film, he bought a 38-meter yacht called The Dragon. A feature of the ship is the Jackie Chan logo on the hull. There is an entertainment room with karaoke, a fitness machine, a sauna and a helipad. In 2022, the release of the film The Horseman is expected. What have you learned for yourself? Write in the comments.